Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's build is focusing on the now released Wishkeeper bow and showcasing a fantastic strand titan build designed for survival, ease of use and great suspending effect. This is a build solo designed for GMs and is one of the best GM focused builds to have when you want to focus primarily on farming content back to back. With an easy 4 ways to suspend targets, this build alone will allow both new and older players a quick way of completing content with as much safety added. So if you want to see just how powerful an all suspend build can get, then let me show you the following. To start, you're going to want to have Drenger's Lash, where using your class ability will produce a suspending wave to targets that will damage and suspend them. You'll then want into the frame where destroying a tangle will grant you and allies wave and melt and also regenerate your melee. Utilizing Drenger's Lash with a Bay and Leap is a no-brainer with how powerful Suspend is. Although duration has been nerfed, its overall effectiveness is still there and can be replicated multiple times over with how fast it can regenerate itself. Applying this with Wishkeeper will allow us to suspend indefinite one way or another, even with one ability out of the way. Fragments, we have Federal Continuity where Suspend, Unravel and Sever Effect duration are extended, Federal Transmutation, why you have Wave Melm, Weapon Final Blows will create Tangle, Thread of Mind, where defeating suspended targets grant class BD energy, and Thread of Wisdom, where defeating suspended targets drops an orb of power. And making use of the suspend and Wave Melm effect will allow a build to be a powerhouse in multiple areas, but also a team supporter in another. Ideally, with how active we can get our targets suspended, this will ultimately make taking on multiple majors, ultras, mini bosses, and champions a lot more easier, even when our team don't have the right items on hand. Since we have so many ways to suspend, we can go about our lowdown stats how we like, as long as we meet the main requirements that the build must have. Outside of that, your fragments should be as shown, although there is room to expand and build if you feel confident with what you currently got. Now, for the modern stats, Resilience and Discipline will be an important component with how the build should be created. Now there is room to expand onto Strength stat as well, but we must have our Resilience and Discipline stat completed before anything else. Resilience at Tier 10 will grant us a 30% damage reduction on top of the Woven Mail damage reduction as well. Maximizing the following will not only make us tanky, but also allow our barricades to get back up within a 22 second cooldown. It is recommended to have bolstering detonation for speeding up the wait time for our barricades, but this is also optional. Your discipline should be at tier 10 for a 1 minute 16 second cooldown. At this rate, you can leave it to how it is as long as you have the further generation fragment on hand to help speed up with getting our shackle grenades back. I have also added the grenade kickstart mod with the two charged up mods for a 38.4% grenade cooldown upon activation. This is optional though, since the stat is already pretty high to start with, and since further generation will be active constantly, having a falling mod may not be needed depending on your build style. This is for those who want to branch out a bit and invest into melee instead. This next section now covers the additional mods and armor charges we have. Charged up will give us a plus one to your current armor stacks, while stacks and stacks will give you two charges instead of one. Next, Harmonic Cypher mod with powerful attraction and Reaper will allow you to create all the power fairly fast, while at the same time also being able to collect them fast. Lastly, having Heavy Ammo Finder and Power Preservation mod will allow us to deal with the more tankier units in the field, while also helping our team out. For weapons being used, we are of course using the Wishkeeper bow, which has been newly released and now available. The following is the first strand based bow to be released in game. And is honestly quite an interesting bow to use with how strong a perk it offers. With its ability to suspend after X amount of built up charge, it's incredibly powerful for builds like this to maximize AoE damage as much as possible. Specifically, if used against a champion, it can make taking them out fairly easy in most hectic situations. Combined with a strand titan bow like shown, and you'll never go wrong with the following. Now, Heavy is flexible for the users to pick and won't overall affect the final standing of the build. However, the Semitician with Hatchling and Field Prep is a good choice to have when using it for ad clearing focus. So, although Suspend was nerfed a while back for less duration than now, it's still in a relatively good position in terms of shutting down champions to mini bosses fairly easy with the right setup. So, what happens when you combine an already powerful Suspend build that uses a bit and leap as shackle grenades? and then adding Wishkeeper to the mix. 
you get a non-stop and pretty much broken suspend build that can carry literally any player in end game of your choosing. Now, using the term broken for a number of builds does feel like it gets overused a lot, but this build definitely falls into that category pretty well with how absurd things can get. You have pretty much four ways of suspending targets, with each one having their own relatively flexible cooldown to them. Then you have the Rover Melt added to the mix that can be activated at the moment's notice. And then lastly, with the usage of Tangles provided for our aspects, we can also be a team healer and supporter without too much thought into the matter. The build is just designed for end game from start to finish, and this alone means practically any player who wants to play it safe can equip it and use the following without much thought behind the process. Although four ways of spending targets might be an overkill for most people, this is super useful in the wave based scenarios where champions and mini bosses may continuously spawn. A prime example of this can be the Moon GM second encounter or the Earth Battleground GM last encounter for the boss room, etc. So, in many ways, this build can help prevent targets from pushing aggressively on us since we can stop them quite easily. The build is overall a simple and quite easy to understand setup that doesn't change too much from what we are already familiar with. If you have experience playing with a Bayon Leap and Shackle Grenades a lot before, then I'll say not much has changed from the core design. However, the ability to create suspend via our exotic weapon now increases the likelihood chance that we can prevent enemies from grouping up and overwhelming us in certain scenarios. Fantastic build that requires little to build and overall handy for farming GMs and everything in game. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on content shared, then please leave a comment below, while at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and sub while here. I will leave a dim link for the build below, and if you want more stuff like this, then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.